What's going on, my fellow A plusers? It is I, your host, Adam Perez, back once again with a brand new video today. A very busy day here at A Plus Hero Report, which shouldn't come as any surprise. Now that a lot of our DC television shows are now currently in production, filming is certainly on their way, we can definitely expect a ton of news to start coming out in regards to a lot of these upcoming seasons. What I didn't expect was Black Lightning to have such a busy week. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into some season four Black Lightning news. Let's go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for certainly joining me once again for a brand new episode here today at A Plus Hero Reports. Um, continuing along with some Black Lightning news for you, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Black Lightning. It's one of my favorite shows when it comes to DC television. I feel like it's been three seasons strong, to be quite honest with you, with that perfect fit of about 15 episodes per season to just tell the perfect story that you certainly want to tell. So Black Lightning is definitely a season that I'm certainly looking very, very forward forward to. Um, one of the questions that I've been having, though, is who is coming back? Are we going to have any familiar faces, uh, any brand new faces, whatever the case may be? Well, one actress winds up popping up here in the news today that I'm really glad that we got a little bit more information on. Uh, this comes to us from Deadline.com, letting us know uh, that uh, Chantel Twi, who plays Grace Choi on Black Lightning, is being kicked up to a series regular. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a series regular. No more do we have to worry about Chantel Twi um, coming in and out of this particular series. They certainly have big plans in store for her character along with her uh, her romantic partner here in Anissa. Um, so I'm honestly pumped at the idea that she's getting bumped up to not just a recurring person that comes in every once in a while, but a series regular. So congrats to Chantel Twi. Uh, this comes from Deadline. It says Black Lightning ups Chantel Twi to series regular, and the actress talks season four along with Asian and LGBTQ representation in the superhero genre. So let's just go ahead and dive into this article real quick. It says, an exclusive, Grace Choi is officially here to stay on the CW Black Lightning. Uh, Chantel Twi, who plays the shape-shifting metahuman on the Hourverse superhero drama, has been up to a series regular. Um, it says, uh, let's see here, it says, Twi first appeared as a recurring character in the first season and she developed a relationship with Anissa who is also known as the metahuman Thunder and or Blackbird. Uh, the Grace and Anissa uh, broke ground on as an on-screen uh, on screen queer superhero couple of color. Man, that's a mouthful in itself. <laughs> and they were about to get married before the war of Freeland wind up interrupting things. Um, this is what the actual showrunner has to say. She's, uh, the showrunner says Chantel uh, Twi embodies the character of Grace Choi. Uh, that's the executive producer and showrunner Salim Akil who says that. He says, I am sure our Black Lightning fans knew, especially those who follow Grace and Anissa's relationship storyline, that having Chantel join as a ser series regular was only a matter of time. I am elated to finally welcome her officially to the team. Um, and you know what? I, I I echo those sentiments, to be quite honest with you. Like, when it comes to Chantel Tweed, as, as far as her playing the character of Grace, you know, the one pet peeve that I've honestly had, like, if there is anything out of Black Lightning that kind of gets under my skin a little bit, it's the idea that they have really pushed this Anissa and Grace relationship uh, with very minimal time of these two sort of on screen. I mean, I could probably count the amount of appearances that Grace has had in season one on one hand, along with season two on one hand. Season three, they certainly improved it just a little bit more. But I got to tell you, it was always really difficult for me to understand that relationship. Like, where does that love come from if I, as a viewer, can't really even see it on screen? And not that I don't think that they have great chemistry or anything like that. It's just the, the lack of Chantel Twee being on the show, right? And I have had some people tell me in the past that she uh, had a career on Broadway or was trying to do other things as well. So maybe that was one of the reasons what uh, kind of took her away from the show. But whatever Chantel Twee certainly had 
had uh, to do in the past. She's clearly focusing on Black Lightning now, and they're certainly bringing her in sort of as a, a series regular. I don't know if that's Chantel's decision to uh, pay more attention to Black Lightning or if Salim, the showrunner, decided, you know what, it's probably about time we brought her in because while I want this relationship between these two characters to certainly be successful, it's always been really difficult for me to wrap my head around these two loving each other when we really have yet to see a ton of them on screen. So them talking about loving each other and marrying each other, I'm just thinking to myself, since when did all this happen? So I'm glad at the opportunity here. I will say season three certainly was an improvement. It goes to show me why I definitely want Chantal to be on this series a little bit more. Her growth as Grace I thought was brilliant. Um, seeing her getting better control of her abilities. She's not as cuckoo as she certainly used to be right i think anisa certainly helps ground her in that sense so i'm really looking forward to seeing what else they utilize her for uh because i've really loved seeing her not only uh, be by anisa's side but fight by anisa's side along with black lightning also in season three so i think season three was a win for her as well as grace Choi, her character uh so the idea of bringing her in for season three or season four i should say uh definitely makes me a very very happy camper uh there's plenty of stuff here in this article Cool guys also if you want to go ahead and check it out there's a great um description uh i should say interview for um it's chantel twee as they wind up talking about it they even ask her questions about season four she says how do you think grace has changed since the beginning and how do you plan on navigating what's in store for her in the new season she says as the seasons progress grace has started to embrace her strengths and her powers which i see continuing in season four she's gaining control of her shape-shifting abilities she's less volatile absolutely and less of an outsider. I'm hoping that this will mean a new suit and getting to join in on more family fights to protect Freeland. I also feel her tendency to avoid intimacy will slowly be mended through her relationship with Anissa. Uh, and I, I love that Chantel honestly has a really great grasp uh, of her character, to be quite honest with you. And I also find it interesting that Deadline brought up the idea that Ryan Choi, aka Adam, who we did see in the Crisis on Infinite Earths, um, um, crossover event. I honestly thought that Ryan Choi, aka Adam, was going to have a bigger role in Legends of Tomorrow going forward, but we haven't really seen him much. But they do mention the idea that Ryan Choi and Grace Choi are actually half siblings. They ask her, Do you think that we can expect them to meet in the Arrowverse in the near future? She says, I would love nothing more than see what a storyline would look like if Ryan Choi and Grace Choi got to team up in the Arrowverse. Um, and guys, I'll give you the opportunity to go ahead and certainly read that article for yourself. I'll even put a link in the description box below if you'd like to to find out even more things but i i honestly did not even make that connection between grace and ryan so now that i know that it's there you gotta give it to me arrowverse you gotta give it to me at some point in time but ladies and gentlemen chantel twee up as series regular no more as recurring if you ask me i think this is only uh good things uh for the season as a whole to be perfectly honest with you always great to be representing uh yourself and uh, your particular culture on screen but also to really dive deep into this storyline for grace and anisa and really sees us really see where it certainly takes us but guys i definitely want to know your thoughts these are just my a plus opinions at the end of the day i definitely want to know yours now that you know that uh chantel twee is in fact returning with a bigger role this season certainly go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section box below. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll certainly see you this Sunday uh, for our live episode of A Plus Hero Report, 11 a.m. Central Time on Sunday. So certainly join us then. In the meantime, do me a big favor. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and keep it A Plus. I'll talk to you later. Bye.